there's nothing profound about this, what I'm about to say. There's nothing, you know, we're not going to be, like, going into, like, a complex analysis here. But, you know, I like to keep tabs on these people. It's important to keep tabs on these people because, you know, they, they pretend to occupy similar spaces that I do. And so I think it's important, you know, to just kind of shine a light on how silly some of these people are. So... I got this segment here. This, that's right. We're in the streamer react portion of the program. So I got this segment here. Uh, this clip. This is a, a clip uh, that was posted on the internet of uh, a Jackson Hinkle. Notice my sidebar, 20 plus notifications. I'm really popular. So this is a one Jackson Hinkle. Honestly, I mean, this guy, I mean, this guy, like, let's be real. Anyone listening to this guy? You know what? I'm, I might, uh, I might say it. Only the really, I hate to say this, but those with the lowest IQ. So anyone listening to this guy, pretty fucking stupid. But uh, so I know I'm not moving the needle here, but it's fun to just like kind of like see what these fucking morons are saying. Because again, this is like, there's this like weird, like, it honestly is strange. Like, it's like leftism is popular enough to where corporate like interests like fascists and Nazis want to pretend to be leftists. It's the same thing that happened with Hitler and all that stuff. You know, it's the same thing that happened in the USSR. You know, people are like, oh, yeah, we should do socialism. And then they kind of like, you know, they're marketing themselves as socialists. Meanwhile, they're not really socialists. They're advocating for some fucked up shit. Anyway, let's watch. What is Jackson Hinkle's take? on the invasion of Ukraine. Uh, this was the only thing, and, it, and he actually prevented more deaths. As of right now, you know, who knows what's gonna happen. So, off, off on the start, Putin actually prevented more deaths. That's right. So when you're seeing 10,000 Russian soldiers killed, well, there would have been 12,000 Russian soldiers killed if Putin didn't invade Ukraine. What? <laughs> like, I mean, again, I mean, to be honest, to be honest, I mean. Only the really, I hate to say this, but those with the lowest IQ. So we're off to a great start. The invasion of Ukraine, thousands of civilians dead, right? Millions displaced. Homes destroyed, lives ruined. But it would have been more disastrous if the invasion didn't happen. <laughs> okay. Uh, this was the only thing. And, it, and he actually prevented more deaths. As of right now, you know, who knows what's going to happen. If something crazy fucking happens, that, that happens. And, you know, we can talk about it when we talk about it. But as of right now, 100,010% absolutely fucking totally stand with putin and his decision to launch this special military operation and actually uh this was the okay only okay okay the, this is the thing decision to launch this special military operation special military operation bro i can't i can't I w in fact in fact you know what i won't special fucking military fucking operation like, this is the guy who markets himself, again, as an anti-imperialist. There are videos, thousands of fucking civilians being injured, murdered. Again, you love Russia, okay. The Russian military, 10,000 deaths in the Russian military. So, if even, let's even say, you're like, oh, but the Russian people, you know, they're great and all that. You know, Russian people, you know, people that got drafted into this war, not so good. Also, the Russian military casualty reports disproportionate, uh, disproportionately minorities, people of color, that are being sent to the front lines as cannon fodder to be killed in this fucking stupid, quote, special military operation. 
Again, why would anyone take these motherfuckers seriously? This is like if I would have popped on here and said, yep, Saddam Hussein, weapons of mass destruction, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. That guy's got weapons and they're capable of mass destruction. Do you want mass destruction? Do you want mass destruction? Because that guy's weapons, they're capable of it. So we got to go in there and take them out. That's, that's what this guy is saying. It was obvious. Saddam Hussein had so many mass weapons of mass destruction that, like, honestly, I mean, I'm, I'm shocked that, that, you know, they went in there and they didn't find any because he had so many. So, this guy claims to be a leftist, a communist, for the people. He loves workers. When I debated this fucking stupid fucking prissy trust fund baby loser... He wouldn't shut the fuck up about workers, the workers, the workers, 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 the workers. What about the workers, the millions of workers in Ukraine that lost their job because of the special military operation and their whole entire fucking city got bombed and their whole fucking, their fucking place of business got destroyed? What about those workers? Mr. I love fucking workers. What about those fucking workers? You stupid little fucking garbage can man. Again, I can't with this motherfucker. He is an embarrassment. This is like, this is like fucking the goddamn like tyrant from Resident Evil. Like this guy just escapes the fucking laboratory. What the fuck? This trust fund baby loser. When I debated him in November, Three hours of him not shutting the fuck up about how much he loves workers. Now, he is siding with oligarchs, the richest man in the world, Vladimir Putin, and his oligarch fucking cabal, siding with them over the workers in Russia, where the economy has been tanked. But again, this guy thinks, oh, NATO and West are declaring war on Russia with the sanctions. Okay, but what, again, what about the workers in Ukraine? What about the workers in Marupol that are being bombed? What about the humanitarian workers? What about the hospital workers that are being bombed? What about the people that worked at the grocery store that now don't have a job? Again, what the fuck? kind of brain worms do you need to be on to think that this group is supposed to be this motherfucker, this motherfucker, dude, he's a motherfucker, he's a liar, he's a trust fund baby loser, this guy is a loser of the highest variety, anyone that would ever even pretend for a single second that this guy should be taken seriously after this kind of shit, needs to go to fucking clown school. We need to bring back tar and feathering because of people like Jackson Hinkle. These are the kind of motherfuckers that need to have tomatoes thrown at them in the public square. Prevented more deaths. On, in what universe? And it's, of course, interesting how he doesn't go on to describe that. He quickly changes the subject. Notice how he says it prevents more deaths... And then he gives himself like a get out of jail free card and stutters a lot. Look. Uh, this was the only thing. And, it, and he actually prevented more deaths. As of right now, you know, who knows what's going to happen. Yeah, as of right now, you know, as of this moment on March March 22nd or 23rd, whenever this is from. As of right now, you know, and anything could change. And then, you know, the sun is in my eyes. And then, you know, the Venus will line up with Saturn and Neptune. And then, you know, the, the, the walls will lose green slime. And then maybe, you know, it wouldn't have been that great of an idea. But anyway... Man, I uh, I swear to God, I know I on my show I talk about stupid like you know stupid Americans. Americans are stupid. Republicans fucking stupid. Democrats fucking stupid. But independents, people that go like, man, the duopoly, bro, sucks, bro. He he's having me. They're also fucking stupid. Everyone, everyone in this shit fuck country makes me fucking go crazy with their fucking stupid garbage. Like, imagine listening to this motherfucker. Like, I can't. Like, imagine. Oh, the Democratic Party doesn't do what I want them to do, and neither does the Republican Party. 
I've cracked the code. I figured it out. Everything is so clear now. And that's why I'm supporting Putin's special military operation. Like, what? What? This guy needs to have, like, tomatoes being thrown at him, man. I seriously, like, tar and feather. Like, this guy need you know, like, the dunk tank at the carnival? This guy needs to go to the dunk tank. Like, this is, like, this is a like, class clown shit. And then people are like, oh, wait a second, you actually think that? What? This is embarrassing. This trust fund baby lunatic is supporting a fucking war that is displacing millions of fucking people, mass murdering thousands. Again, even, like, let's assume, okay, fuck Ukraine because he hates Ukraine. They're even on the, on the Russian side, the Russian military, tens of thousands of deaths, injuries. Like, there's reported 30,000 injuries in the Russian military. So, the Russian people, the poor and the workers that are being conscripted for this, disproportionately people of color, by the way, that are being sent to the front lines in the Russian, uh, special military effort, right? So, like, there is literally no metric where this makes any sense at all. He's just making it up. Because this guy's a loser. And if you listen to him, if you think he's got a point on anything, you're a loser. You got duped. It's okay, though. In the same way that people who haven't figured out about the duopoly, people that still vote blue no matter who, like, they haven't figured it out, right? They got duped. They got bamboozled, right? Just because you're one layer removed doesn't mean you're perfect. You also got bamboozled. If you thought this guy was anything other than a right-wing, far-right, war monger, agent provocateur, then you got duped, and that's fine. It's okay. This guy was lying about it for years. He's a trust fund baby lunatic. It's fine to get duped every now and again. It happens. It happens. There's a lot of disinformation out there. But the thing is, when you get duped, you need to realize how the fuck did that happen. Learn from your mistake and move on. So anyway, this guy's a fucking lunatic. But, uh, you know, it's crazy. I really, it's, it's crazy. All of a sudden we can't talk about Neanderthal DNA anymore. 